Start in the back here, we got some Chrysler Imperial. I haven't cut this one yet. I need to have it pruned. This is a Gardenia Vichai, which suffered heavy damage during the winter. I don't know if it will come back fully, but I'm not gonna prune it yet. Uh, I'm gonna let it grow some more so I can see what's green, what's dry, what needs to be pruned off. And then we can make a decision later on. We have lots of daylilies, roses, and then we can see some lilies which are coming up in the front here. Daffodils are still in bloom. <laughs> Daffodils are still in bloom. Yeah. And today is what? The 16th of April. And we still have daffodils. Like I said on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to follow me at my.therapy.garden where we talk about some of the plants in bloom, which we may not have time for a video for, but we can show you um, pictures and just talk about them quickly and I said that all these daffodils I got at Brex and this mixture said that it should give me three months of flower and as you can see flower is still looking good and of course some die back and some are yet to come because if we look back in here we can see we have lots of them budding up that should flower in another two, week or two, or even a month. So we're still gonna have some daffodil back here all the way into May. And I'm very excited about that. I'm very excited about that. Our roses haven't started flowering, but this is the Queen Elizabeth right here. Behind it is a Maurice. Utrello. But it's better to give you the name of the roses when they're in flower so you can see what they look like. We have a clematis here. Beautiful velvety red color that it has. Uh, let's see if I can get a very good shot of this one. beautiful velvety red on this clematis and this clematis see the name of it Wester plate clematis Wester plate Still have some daffodils in here between the roses and that camellia that we have over there. Some hyacinth just fading away. My Yopan holly, which I shape in a conical shape. And at the front here, we have some gardenia. And these are, I'll write the name <laughs> on it. I can't remember it right now, but I'll write the name. But I like the leaves. The, the leaves are, are rounded, are rounded, so different. But you see, it suffer winter damage again. This winter was very hard on these plants. Here's a beautiful splurge or rainbow euphorbia. We had two in there. Of course, one died, but we still have another one. So here we have Standing Boy. That's the name, nickname for a statue. 
that we have there surrounded by roses. And around the fountain, we have irises. And we have white irises flowering right now. And the blue ones are just coming up. So we'll just take a quick look at these white irises. And then I can always put pictures of the blue ones on Instagram. So you need to follow me on Instagram so you can see these or see those pictures. And now we're enjoying these beautiful white irises. And I must say that these irises were all a gift for my friend Anne in Ohio. Uh, she gave me these beautiful irises that we have here. So they have now formed what I call the fountain garden. The fountain garden. We haven't turned the fountain on yet. Well, this is the fountain. And around it, we have all these beautiful irises. We have a few daylilies in it also. And of course, some daffodils in the spring. But right now, it's iris season. So we'll enjoy the irises around the fountain. So there we have it, guys. We just do a quick look at the back garden. See what we have in bloom. And yes, surprisingly, we still have daffodils in bloom, clematis, and our roses are budding up. So in another couple of weeks, we'll do another tour of all the roses in bloom. We have this red bud here, and this is flamethrower through redbud and I got this from Mr. Maple so Mr. Maple don't only sell maples and conifers but they sell other plants I got hydrangea from them that I have in the east side garden and of course this flamethrower which I can't wait for it to leaf out fully so you guys can see, especially in the summertime, all the different leaf and white got the name Flamethrower. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Question, comment, drop a line down below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are released. From my garden to yours, this is Webster. From my therapy garden, we're playing in the dirt, have to take away the hurt. And we just did a quick tour of the back garden in spring. We'll see you in the next video, guys. God bless and have a great day. Love you all. Take care now. Bye-bye.